January 18, 1994. A letter to Alberta Premier Ralph Klein. Hey Ralph, I caught your speech on TV Monday night. A former ALCB employee, I find myself with much more time on my hands lately. All Albertans suffer together and feel a common bond in the part each of us plays in reducing the deficit. Is that so? Remember how you whined and complained about losing your clothing allowance, you who shares in the pain of the average Albertan? What about your arrogant refusal to comment on the high cost of your swearing-in ceremony? I don't even want to think about the cost of this fireside chat. You claim television is the medium that I'm comfortable with and that I know very, very well. You then proceeded to treat your audience to a patronizing, histrionic performance full of unblinking, macho posturing. Not only do you not seem particularly comfortable with the medium of television, it is very clear to me that you are even less comfortable with the medium of politics. Listen, I'll make this simple and to the point. You talked about the four horsemen of the apocalyptic deficit, namely education, advanced education, health care, and social services. These are not burdens. They are my heritage. These are not trifles to be benevolently given back to me at the whim of some rich, cynical politician. They belong to me, not to you. The office of the Premier is entrusted with the stewardship of this heritage. Health care, education, social services are the cost of running a government and as our heritage are obviously worth preserving. Sure, Albertans will shift towards community health care centers as more and more hospitals close. You've seen to that. You stressed a more community-based system which focuses more on the individual. If the individual's name is Ken Kowalski and he happens to have, say, a life-threatening backache, then the system won't fail him. Albertans have to protect our edge, you said. What edge? Is this edge as clear as the prospects of the average Albertan in the next three years? The 20,000 people who annually leave Alberta for BC are not leaving just to be closer to Mike Harcourt. I put myself through university, never taking a dime from my parents, the government, or the myriad of rich conservative patrons just willing to give a poor kid a chance. Now I'm a graduate student whom you claim, Ralph, fails to contribute a fair share. Let's talk about fairness. Your cuts compromise the quality and accessibility of my education. Your ministers, Myrosh Kowalski et al., help fuel the racism, sexism, and homophobia which is already epidemic in this province. Steve West's caprices cost me my job. As a student, I'm ineligible to draw unemployment benefits. Mine is not one of those nice households you refer to. I have no house, no car, no measure of financial security. If our social service is a passive system which hands out money indiscriminately, then I must be doing something terribly wrong. You insult our intelligence by delivering your condescending snake oil pitch. You let Albertans down from the moment the rural Albertans gave you your mandate. You keep justifying your destructive cuts with, I'm just doing my job, and admission of the moral bankruptcy and lack of direction of your government. You cost me my job, Ralph. So I hope you understand if I want desperately to be among those who will cost you yours. Oh, and hey, thanks for listening.